Bitch. Now, welcome to a new episode of Final Final Play. And today we're going to be blasting Madrid, Spain's Titan Blood, Seven Chalices. Fuck yeah. Finally found a copy of Death on vinyl. Oh yeah. I am beyond stoked. <laughs> like, seriously, a three year search is over and fuck yeah, just so stoked. But Seven Chalices, it's one of those records. Again, I hunted this down and for two years I had this in my hands at a 20 buck spin distro table and last year I went to um, the Decibel Metal and Beer Fest and I saw it, it was 22 bucks and I just instantly was like, Dave, I, I have to. <laughs> I turned it down the year before and then another time before that and yeah, I just had to get this beast in my life and I honestly did not think I was going to get death for a normal price. And then I just went on Hell's Headbangers and next thing I know I was like, holy shit, $19? Like, for a double LP? And it was pretty weird, the total like came to the exact price of this. Which was fucking awesome, and yeah, I can't wait to get Death by Titan Blood, but we're going to be blasting Seven Chalices. This is just a total slimy fucking beast. And speaking of slimy, now I know the artwork here is going to look very, very slimy, very swallowed-ish. And some of the tunes do reflect that, but most of all, these Russians seem to have somehow captured the literal essence, vibe, and sonic prowess of Crucimenium alongside Dead Congregation. And it doesn't sound like it's a copycat band or anything like that. It just so happens that Go Sudar and their self-titled demo on Rotted Life Records created two tracks of agonizingly heavy yet straight to the fucking point atmospheric death doom metal that just so happens to sound very very much like Dead Congregation, Graves of the Archangels, and Crucimenium. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I love the fact that this is around 10 minutes total, and it's just as long as it needs to be. Nothing wears out its welcome, it's just these very, very sinister dark sounding riffs some awesome artwork by the way from Warhead Warhead's done a lot of good stuff and this is kind of a little off his style but I really like it like I just think he did a real good job he, he normally draws a lot like a lot of vicious stuff but this is just real sick and I love the whole like third Rome death metal thing. I'm not real sure what that's all about, but uh, these tracks are fucking sick. I will take all your lands and your god shall demise in pain. But uh, you have King of Pain and Anthema. Two tracks and this is just super super gnarly Russian death doom metal that just so happens to have a sound of its own but these two tracks are very very remnant and similar sounding to that of Dead Congregation and Crucimenium and there's nothing wrong with that having influences and wearing them on your sleeves even but like just the fact that they, you know, didn't 
make a bunch of just filler space and then some sick riffs. This is just sick riffs, crushing drums, sinister fucking evil sounding vocals and just an overall package of just straight up heavy atmospheric death doom metal from Russia. And I really like how they just get in and out. Like the old in out and out. But with um all killer, no filler. The only thing is you might find this a little bit too similar to like Charnel Passages or Graves of the Archangels, but it's just two tracks. But hey, it seems like the rest of the extreme metal community is all over this as this was a limited to a hundred copy cassette release and when I checked this morning only seven of these bad boys are left through Rotted Records so Rotted Life Records I apologize so I would get on this if it sounds like it's up your alley and if you're a fan of Crucimenium, Dead Congregation Early Incantation, you get where I'm getting at, you are going to love this. If you're looking for something a little bit new, I suggest checking out the new Ossuarium record. But if you want some more Death Doom metal along the lines of those two bands I mentioned, alongside some of your usual suspects, you're going to get around 10 minutes of bleak, heavy, dark death metal that's reeking of doom and is very interesting even though the influences are very very kind of like I said it's just like hey yeah we like these bands and you know we're gonna kind of be influenced by their sound but not jock it too bad because like I said this definitely has its own sound to it a track like King of Pain is a pure example of that. But the way it opens up, you're going to be like, that's Dead Congregation. Or that's Crucimenium. And that was my only problem here, was I kept saying, that sounds familiar. That sounds familiar. And then next thing I knew, I was like, oh, that sounds like Crucimenium. And like I said, give this a listen. And if it's up your alley, fucking A. But if not, listen to Dead Congregation and you win either way. Because you get to check out a kick-ass death metal band from Russia. And you get some Dead Congregation and Crucimenium listening in on your day. So, if that sounds like it's up your alley, check out Gassander. Self-titled. On uh, Rotted Life Records. This is a sick two-track demo. Around ten minutes worth of fucking Russian death metal. And yeah, it's definitely worth your time. If you watch this channel, 97% of you are going to like this. I, I guarantee it. I'll even play a track for you. And if you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you, but... Hey, if you like it, there's seven copies left last time I checked, so get on it. This is going to be Gosadar and their self-titled demo. I'm going to throw on um, King of Pain. Sorry if I butchered the band's name. I don't know Russian too well. I'm just trying to sound it out. But Gosadar, I think is how you pronounce it, or Gosandar. I apologize, but Rotted Life Records, self-titled demo, sick stuff from Russia, Warhead Art, and let's throw this on, shall we? King of Pain.
awesome. So, that was Gasudar, self-titled demo on Rotted Life Records. Two tracks of Russian death metal with a doom little dabber in there. Good stuff. Definitely if you're a fan of Crucimenium, Dead Congregation, as you heard, you're going to love this. So, get into it. Thanks for watching. Hurts. <laughs>